This is ETV Bharat. Welcome to News Time. Prime Minister Narendra Modi Tuesday handed over the astronaut wings to four pilots chosen for Gaganyaan mission who made their first public mission since the announcement of the project here at the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center at Tumba. 15 Rajya Sabha seats in Uttar Pradesh, Karnataka and Himachal Pradesh will witness a fierce contest as they go to polls on Tuesday amid concerns about cross-voting. Congress top brass have decided to field former party chief Rahul Gandhi from Telangana, where the party has recently roamed to power for the first time ever since the state was carved out of Andhra Pradesh a decade ago. Vijay Shekhar Sharma has stepped down as part-time non-executive chairman of Paytm Payments Bank Limited and the board of the bank has been reconstituted, a filing said on Monday adding PPBL will commence the process of appointing a new chairman. The Enforcement Directorate on Monday said it has attached flats in Noida and fixed bank deposits worth Rs 2.18 crore in connection with a 2018 money laundering case against journalist Upendra Rai and some others. Rai, the CMD and editor-in-chief of Bharat Express, refuted the charges made against him. Underlining that the conflict in Gaza is of great concern, External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar on Monday said the humanitarian crisis arising from conflicts required a sustainable solution that gives immediate relief to those most affected. Ace India pacer Mohammad Shami on Monday underwent a successful heel operation on his Achilles tendon. He has already been ruled out of the cash-rich Indian Premier League. President Joe Biden said Monday that he hopes a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas that would pause hostilities and allow for remaining hostages to be released can take effect by early next week. India's permanent representative to the UN Ambassador, Ruchira Kamboj, raised the question at a UN General Assembly plenary meeting, asking why the US Security Council has been rendered completely ineffective in resolving the Russia-Ukraine conflict that has continued unbated for two years. Renowned Indian ghazal singer Panka Judas has tragically passed away at the age of 72 after prolonged illness, family confirmed on Monday. The news of his demise has sent shockwaves through the music industry and his countless fans worldwide. His last rites will be held tomorrow. Log on to etbharat.com for the latest updates.